Sophia is dead? No, it can't be. I've had enough of your lies! Oh! No! Grandfather, no! Please stop! We must leave now. The whole place is starting to crumble. Come with me. What's this? What's happening? What? Come on, Grandfather. We have to get out of here. Be careful. found the answers I was searching for. Here, allow me to return this to you. Thank you. So, the box wasn't cursed after all. No, Luke, there's no curse to be found here. But if I were to guess, I suspect you'd find traces of that gas in the ore used to make this box. The same fumes that drove the town to ruin were released upon each person who opened the box. Those who opened the box expected death, and in doing so, fulfilled their own grim predictions. I suppose it was just an ordinary box then. Oh, I assure you, it's far from ordinary. This box was crafted to hold the words of my heart. What do you mean? The box contains a hidden message, one meant only for Sophia. Many years ago, I asked a traveler passing through town to deliver it to her. Unfortunately, the box's value made it a target for those hungry for wealth. And so it was stolen again and again, thus perpetuating the whole chain of sad events. But we checked the box. It was as empty as could be. Ah, oh, well that's because there's actually a second way to open it. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. These old words are the key to understanding this box and what it means. Do you follow, boy? I think so. Let me give it a shot. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart.
Here goes. Piece of cake. What's the matter? This isn't the letter I wrote. This is Sophia's handwriting. The box must have made it to her after all. My dear Anton, are you well? I received your letter. Though I'd like nothing more than to see you again, I'm afraid I no longer have the strength to do so. You don't know how many times I've thought about you over the years. I often wonder if you hate me for what I did. Do you? When I decided to leave, I was carrying our child. I couldn't bear exposing that tiny life to such danger. I knew your father's position and understood you didn't have the option to leave with me. Even though I did the only thing I could, I'll always regret leaving you that way. But there's one bright spot in this sad story, and that is our lovely granddaughter, Katya. My departure all those years ago has given you the chance to meet. Katya's mother died shortly after she was born. But Katya grew up strong and sweet just the same. She reminds me of you every time she smiles. With her around, I could never forget about you, even if I wanted to. You've been in my thoughts since the day we parted. And now, Though my time here is drawing to a close, I like to think we'll meet again on the other side. The thought of seeing your face warms my heart. Be well and be happy, my dear Anton. Goodbye. But just for now, your Sophia. Oh, Sophia, I finally understand now. Grandfather. Hmm? Grandfather? Yes, that's right. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> I am so happy we met my dear granddaughter. You don't know how much this means to me. <laughs> it's been so long. So very long, in fact, that I had forgotten what love even felt like. Instead, my love for Sophia was replaced by anger, and that anger completely blinded me. But now I can see the world clearly again, thanks to you, my granddaughter. <laughs> Are you listening, Sophia? I'll have to put off returning to your side for a while. There's someone I need to get to know here first. Will you forgive me for making you wait just a little longer, my dear? Wherever she is, I'm sure she's very happy for us. <laughs> hmm. 